In this video, I want to go over the truths I learned about selling AI art on Etsy. This is a completely new genre that's been discovered earlier this year. So there's not a lot of people doing it, but there's definitely way more people doing it right now than in the past. And I've been doing this since the March of this year, and now it's August. So I've been doing it for a while now, and you can track all my records here on YouTube where I document my journey. And I want to give you a couple of lessons to learn along this way. And if you're interested in surrounding yourself by like-minded individuals, consider joining our Discord, which you can get access through my YouTube membership. There's a big button that says join, just click on it to find out more information about it. So the number one thing that I want to address in this video is saturation, because that's the big truth about selling AI art on Etsy is the saturation. When I was starting out, there was definitely way less saturation. There was not a lot of clip art or patterns that were AI generated on Etsy. And because of me and other similar content creators, there's definitely way more interest in this now. And there's a lot of listings of people trying to sell AI generated content. And saturation is definitely a problem, but this is something that you should not consider as a big issue. And then let me tell you why. For the longest time, I was struggling with saturation on Etsy AI as well. At the beginning, it was way easier for me to sell products than the couple months along the way. But I experienced saturation before on other marketplaces. I've been selling on eBay, I've been selling on Facebook Marketplace. I am familiar with the concept of saturation. This is natural and it comes in eventually because, hey, we live in capitalism and capitalism is the free market. So anyone can join in and put whatever they want. And if everyone is trying to sell the best selling products, Obviously, there's going to be saturation of the same best selling products on the market. And you can actually watch a couple of my videos when I was struggling with saturation for two months. It was a really big problem for me. But eventually I got to the point when I had my breakthrough point, which means that saturation is no longer an issue for me because of the couple of things. First of all, I have so many listings at my stores. It's kind of hard for my competitors to keep up with me. Also, a lot of my listings have built up a reputation and they have reoccurring purchases on a weekly, daily basis. The quality of my listings also increased and my reputation store is way higher than some average guy that just starting out. That doesn't mean that you are on a losing path if you're starting out. I'm gonna give an example of a store that's doing great. It's actually doing better than me and it's only two months old. But the key to fight the saturation is the quality of your product and the way you stand out from the rest. There's a lot of people making YouTube videos like me, but for for some reason you pick me to watch it maybe it's because my charisma maybe because you like the content i'm making whatever it is you pick me maybe it's a combination of a couple of things same with your etsy store there might be thousands of stores selling the same etsy air clip art but for some people pick you because your presentation might be better maybe you offer a variety of listings that other people don't or maybe there's a combination of different factors be original, stand out, and follow your own path to fight the saturation. Another truth that a lot of people don't want to hear is that this is a long-term game. And when I say that, this is not like dropshipping where you can see results very fast. This is actually something that you build for the long term. At least this is my theory. And I might be wrong because, again, AI art on Etsy, selling AI art on Etsy is a brand new thing. So... It, the only time will tell if this is true, but you can watch the results of my YouTube videos that I show my re Etsy results, okay? Again, the beginning was great, then I had two, three months that was really bad, and now I'm finally back on track and I am getting really, really good results again. I'm making very little money out of it right now. But the same thing with building a business. When you build a business, you take a loan, nobody knows about your business, you have to market it, you have to advertise it. It takes a while for you to build a reputation and bring consistent sales and customers. That's how I treat my Etsy AI clip art business. And then I suggest you do the same if you want to play this game. Again, I play a long-term game. I don't mind making little money at the beginning, but I believe that eventually I'm going to have listings for every season that will just bring people in and then I'm going to add more on top of it. And every month my reputation will just increase and I'm going to have more and more people coming in. So as I said earlier, I have an example of a store that's doing really great and it's selling AI generated content. Okay. And I don't want to reveal the name of that store because I personally know this person, but the store is actually four months old. Sorry. I thought it's two, but it's four, but I think the person was was as serious for about two months. So that's why I said two months and take a look at this. Okay. These are daily sales. August 3rd, 46, August 4th, 33, August 5th, 48, August 6th, 37, August 7th, 16. So as you can see, it went down. You have bad days too. August 8th, 47. 
This store is doing amazing and it's a brand new clip art store. But I can tell you that the reason being why this store is doing so great is because that person put a lot of work and effort into it. And her store looks way different than all the other clip art stores that are out there. She's standing out. She has a specific theme to her listing. Her presentation is great. And that's another point I want to make, which is a lot of people just create crappy listings, crappy products. If your product is crap, no wonder you're going to get sales. What do you expect? You told AI to make all the job for you and you expect people to buy it just because you somehow came up with some prompt that other people that, that created a picture and you want to sell it because that's the reality of it. That's not how it works. You need to know, first of all, what people are looking for. You need to look for relevant listings, relevant keywords that people are looking for. What are they looking for right now? Back to school. It's August, September. Kids are going back to school. What else? Halloween is on the way. So create maybe that instead of just some random picture of the dog. You cannot create random stuff or the things you think are beautiful. Nobody cares what you think is beautiful because people know what they're looking for. Oh shit, I'm a mom. This is the first day of my kid going to school. Um, I want to create a beautiful notebook with some pictures that he will remember forever with a theme around the school. That's what you should be doing. Oh, it's Halloween. Um, crap. I want to create some stickers around Halloween with some pumpkins and stuff like that and ghosts and monsters. Let me see if I can buy some on Etsy. That's what you should be doing. This is the target audience you want to sell. And sorry to break it to you, but a lot of you guys are selling crappy listings. And that's the truth. Your presentation suck. You don't sell relevant products and you're just adding to the saturation instead of solving the problem of people that are looking for products. You're just putting things in the thin air and hope that somehow you get a sale or something. And the last thing I want to mention is the seasonality. Not everyone can handle the seasonality of this business. This is why most people have regular jobs because at a regular job, you get paid the same amount every month. When you run a business, you don't know. You never know how much money you're going to make each month. I have great months and I have really bad ones. And I can tell you that I probably have more bad ones than the good ones. When, when the good ones come in, they are really, really good. Entrepreneurship is not easy. It's glorified on YouTube and TikTok and all these other apps. Everyone wants to do it. Oh my God, creating Etsy AI. It's so easy. Let me start doing it. I just need my journey. Okay, I got it. I just type in what I want. All right, let's do it. Boom. I list on Etsy. Damn, I'm going to make so much money. And then a day pass, nothing happened. Two day passes, nothing happened. Seven day passes. This Etsy AI stuff is a scam. A month passes. You see my video about selling Etsy AI. You go under my video and you type in, this is BS. I tried this, it doesn't work. That's the reality of a lot of this. So not everyone can handle the seasonality of this because it's not easy to handle it. This is why I think you should have a regular job. Don't go hard on this. Just have a regular job. Do this on the side. If you have a regular job, you even are more privileged than most of the people because you have a stable income. You can use the st stable income to hire and train a virtual assistant from Pakistan or Philippines or whatever. Teach them how to create AI art. This is what I've been doing, by the way. They're going to do it for you. Pay them $200 a month for this. Whatever. It doesn't matter. And then sell that art on Etsy. Use your capital to start a business. Treat it as a business. It's a long-term game. It's going to take you a while. And I might be wrong, but if I'm wrong, I know personally that at least I tried doing this. And I'm going to have no regrets if eventually this is doesn't going to work out. But I believe in this. I put so much money and time and effort into it already. And I'm committed to it fully. So seasonality, psh, I will handle it. I hope I didn't go too hard for you, but I want to be real with you. I want to be honest with you. I want to tell you how I feel about all of this. If you like it, leave a like. If you don't like it, leave a comment and let me know what you don't like about my ideas. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. But that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Join my YouTube membership to join our Discord. Talk to me and other people and get some other benefits as well. But that will be it for today. Take care, my friend. Bye.